Hi guys and welcome to the first vlog of 2021. I'm so happy you're here. I thought we'd start off the vlog with a bit of a catch up. It's been a while since we've spoken so make sure you grab yourself a cup of tea. I've got mine here. I've also got my teapot. This teapot is from Amara Living. This is from Amazon because I know you guys will ask. And the tea is white tea and raspberry rose. It is gorgeous. I hope all of you guys are okay. I know it's been such a weird start to the year with us going back into full lockdown and into tier five it was so funny well it's not funny but i remember last lockdown in the summer and i was saying look guys look at the positives at least we're not in winter at least the sun is shining and now we're in lockdown in winter and it's raining every single day and it's getting really dark early and it's cold but at least this time you know there is a vaccine and we kind of know that there is a way out of this so I'm trying to focus on that. So many of you guys have been asking as well on Instagram, where's B, where's B, when's B coming back? So B left to go home for Christmas around the 15th um, before we went into lockdown and stuff. And she's kind of stuck there now really because we're not allowed to travel between tiers, but B is absolutely fine. Like she's at her family home. She's with her parents and her siblings and her dog. So she's happy. Um, I'm obviously on my own again for this lockdown, which is kind of funny. But I know I can do it this time. It's a lot easier because I know what to expect and I've just learned how to cope with it. I just realised I'm drinking tea with my Invisalign in. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but it's fine. So yeah, it's been a really slow start to the year. But to be honest, I've actually quite liked that. I normally find January like the worst month of the year by far. I've always really struggled in January mentally because I think there's so much pressure of like New Year's resolutions, New Year, New Me. And you kind of see a lot of things on social media as well with people just doing it. My camera's gonna run out of. Yeah, I just feel like social media is full of people doing all of these amazing things, which don't get me wrong, it's great to see people kind of getting up at like five in the morning, going on runs, doing this, that and the other. But for me, I just find it so overwhelming to have all of this information at once. It's just too much for me. And obviously I can just not go on social media, but it is my job and i like to be quite active on there so so yeah i normally find january quite hard but the fact that everyone's kind of had to take a step back and slow down has made it a lot easier because my original plan was obviously to have the two weeks off over christmas and then come back kind of like ready to go creating loads and loads of content um doing the absolute most but because of the circumstances i haven't and that's actually been really nice just to really slowly ease into the year so um yeah i'm just looking at the positives here i guess i feel like towards the end of last year i was so so burnt out and i kind of just had nothing left in me i felt like i was kind of just working on autopilot and i wasn't creating the best work i could um and yeah i feel like that just kind of had an effect on my mental health i didn't have really bad anxiety or anything like that but i did find i was comparing myself more often and i don't normally compare myself so that was quite negative for me i always think that the only person you should compare yourself to is yourself so i really try to focus on that and kind of better with myself and moving forwards over the christmas break and i think it's done the world of good and now i'm just feeling so refreshed so recharged recalibrated and ready to go and that is literally everything i have to update you guys on because other than that nothing has been happening at all like it's just been me waking up every day making breakfast going for walks i can't even do things like horse riding at the moment because of the rules so it's been really quiet but i know everyone's doing the same thing so i thought i'd vlog anyway plan today is I need to do a bit of boring work and um, need to go to the shops got some parcels to pick up might do some cooking with you guys i honestly don't know so it's gonna be a cozy at home vlog and i know you guys like that anyway so yeah let me know how you guys are in the comments as well please let me know how you're finding this lockdown do you find it easier or harder than the last one so yeah let's all have a good catch up in the comments Here is my lunch. I've got avocado on toast. Such a classic with some feta and paprika. I don't know how this egg has turned out. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah. 
here is my outfit of the day um it's like cozy home loungewear but a little bit glam at the same time it's actually all from new look the top trousers and my new slippers which are the coziest softest things ever i've been trying to avoid wearing proper loungewear just because i feel a bit slobby and yeah i just feel so much better about myself when i've got a cute put together outfit on um, I love this top as well. Look at the neckline. I really like how it's kind of asymmetrical. Yeah, I'll link everything down below as always. I'm now going to go downstairs and get my parcels. I don't know about you guys, but I have been ordering so much stuff online. I feel like there's nothing else to do. So I've just been finding the most random things. I've got a highlight on my Instagram called Amazon Purchases. If you go there, you'll see kind of the things I pick up. My latest thing is this lighter. I think it's out of charge. Where is it? It looks like a vape, but I promise you it's not um but yeah it's a little like electrical lighter it's um out of battery right now but but like a little kind of electric bolt goes through the top here and you can light your candles and you just recharge it every time it runs out it's so cool exciting time so i got some more face halos as these are what i use to take my makeup off and i just think they're brilliant um i got the black ones because the white ones get a bit discolored but yeah i just got these and then i got two satin pillowcases i used to have silk ones but honestly they're such a nightmare to wash so i thought i'd get satin instead which was supposed to be a little bit more easy so they feel nice and soft i don't know if they're quite as soft as silk Maybe they are actually and what i really love is that they have a zip um which i just think looks so much more neat and tidy and yeah if you don't know already i'm sure you guys all do but sleeping on like a satin silk pillowcase reduces wrinkles it's really good for your hair and i notice a huge difference when i do use them compared to when i don't so yeah i'll report back on these ones and let you guys know how they were i think these are super cheap as well i think they were about eight pounds Whereas silk are normally like kind of 20, maybe a bit more than that. So I've been trying to get some pics for the last um, 10 minutes. It is so dark. It's only what, like 1.30, 2 o'clock? It's just too dark to take photos. But this was my cute outfit. Um, the puffer is H&M. Just got some plain leggings. And these boots are public desire. And yeah, I currently have no photos at all to post onto Instagram. Um, so I'm going to have to have a little dig through the archives for tonight's post and probably get on with some admin work instead seeing as i can't shoot today i've just had a surprise delivery in the post from the napco this is so exciting look how beautiful the packaging is honestly the branding is just everything i think it's stunning but no idea what's inside we're seeing mixed pajamas Oh, oh my God, this color. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. It's this beautiful kind of oat color with um, white piping and like a white tie here. And then it's got K here as well. Oh, that's so nice. I'm obsessed with the Napco pajamas. They're just the softest, softest things, amazing quality, and they always smell really nice as well. So yeah, massive shout out to them. Oh, they also sent me some of their mini hair bubbles, which I just love. Um, and again, these being silk are really, really good for your hair. So it's a lovely little surprise. It's really made my day. Dinner. I'm just going to make a really quick stir fry. Um, in here we have cabbage, spinach, mushrooms, um, bean sprouts, onion, garlic, um, and then I'm just going to add some rice. I hate cooking rice, as you guys know, so um, I just add it from one of these packets. So much easier, so much quicker. I'm also just going to add an egg to make it kind of like egg fried rice um, just to add a little bit of protein to it and then just to finish it off I added some soy sauce a bit of peanut butter some teriyaki sauce what else did I add some salt some miso paste I think that is it it looks like dog food but I just tasted it and it's so nice 
So for dessert, I'm gonna have these, which are, I'm not exactly even sure how to pronounce them. I think that's moshi or moshi. It's a Japanese dessert and it's basically kind of like ice cream. And um, this one is a passion flavored one. You can get it from Waitrose. Coated in almost like a jelly. It's very, very weird, but they're so nice. I'm obsessed with them. So you take them out of the freezer, you leave them for like five minutes and then you can eat them. Um, but yeah, I'd highly recommend. They're so nice. Just to show you guys what it looks like inside. It's just kind of like this. Um, so weird. But also so good. So definitely try them. And if you do, let me know if you like them or not. Apparently they have like chocolate ones and stuff, which are also nice. But I'm more of a fruity kind of girl. And I'm currently just ordering some bits online for a haul. The only problem is I feel like everything I like is low stock. So there's no point really ordering it. And then some brands just literally have hardly anything, which is new. So yeah, I'm kind of struggling to find things to um, feature, but I'm sure I'll get there. So I've just spent the last couple of hours just making these cute little cozy home edits for my Instagram stories. I'll add them to my highlights for you guys so you can see as well. But yeah, I had a quiet evening actually with no work, but I just kind of felt a bit lazy because i haven't been out today so i thought i'd just do a bit extra and this is it so yeah work done for the day is currently 10 to 10. i'm now going to settle in for the evening do my yoga i've been doing the 30 day yoga with adrian challenge and i'm really enjoying it so i'm going to do that and yeah head to bed so i'll see you guys in the morning Good morning guys and happy Friday. So I've got up early this morning, I've just done my makeup and I need to do my hair. Um, I want to take some photos today. It's not the best weather outside but it's definitely a lot better than yesterday. It's at least bright in the flat so I'm going to take some photos. So I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday because I didn't get a pic in this yesterday because it was too dark. I'm shooting this as part of a campaign I'm doing with New Look. Um, they re-signed my contract this year, which makes me so happy as they're literally one of my favorite brands to work with. Honestly, when brands renew contracts, it makes me so happy because it means that they're really happy with like my performance and, and it's just nice to be able to continue a partnership and continue supporting the brand. Anyway, it's sidetracked. The only thing is, I'm trying to take pictures at home and it's proving a little bit tricky. It's just one of those outfits that kind of looks best as a mirror selfie, but like 99% of the time brands don't really want mirror selfies. They normally specifically ask not to take mirror selfies. So I'm struggling a bit. I tried to take pictures on the sofa, didn't really work out. But yeah, I took some selfies anyway. I'm gonna send them on. And if they don't like them, I can just reshoot them, I guess. But fingers crossed. It is okay. Also, has anyone else noticed that the iPhone, have I got the latest one? No, I've got the second to latest one. Since the new one came out, my camera has been terrible. I never used to have any problems with it being pixelated. Now all of my photos are fairly pixelated. And I know I'm not imagining it because sometimes I'll take a photo super pixelated and you zoom in a bit and then you wait maybe like five, six seconds and sometimes it unpixelates itself and then repixelates itself. So it's definitely something in the software rather than the actual camera itself. But I think that's so bad. Like I remember when I first got this camera, I was shook with how clear the photos were. They were almost a bit too clear because you could see every single kind of little detail. And now the quality has just like gone downhill. So yeah, let me know if you guys have that as well. It's such an annoying iPhone feature. Because other than the camera, it works perfectly fine. Okay, good news. My manager has given me the go ahead to take the mirror selfies. That makes my life so much easier. Honestly, clean this mirror so often and it gets so dirty do you know as well the amount of times i don't notice that the mirror is dirty 
take the photos and I have to edit out all the bits of dirt. Yeah, fun story. Okay, so here's what I've got. This kind of thing, I've got some sitting. As you can see, I take loads just so I have the options. And I think I'm posting this tonight, so you should, so this will be on my Instagram when this video goes live. So I just received another Amazon delivery I made. Um, I bought this acrylic tray, which is actually so much bigger than I expected and better quality than I expected as well. Um, really, really like this. This is actually really sad, but I got this because obviously now B's not here, I'm having a lot more um like meals on the sofa and i thought this would be perfect that sounds so sad but yeah we would normally kind of have like lunch and breakfast and everything like here but sometimes i just want it on a sofa and this um it's gonna be good so um yeah really happy with this purchase i'll link it down below i actually think this would also make a great kind of just tray like as an ornament i've also just picked up this bag of goodies um oh this is from a pr agency which pr agency is this uh, the communication store and they look after lots of different brands. So they sent me a goodie bag. I've got some Vita Liberata um, Body blur this stuff is insane. I've actually got lots of this already So I'll probably add this to a giveaway or something, but highly recommend I've got some Vita Liberata self tanning mist. I haven't tried this yet um, and I'm a big fan of their tans So I'm looking forward to trying this out. We have um, some products from this works. I am so overexposed. I just realized there we go. Yeah, products from this works. That's actually so funny. I ran out of my um, pillow spray last night. So they've sent me out some more pillow spray. With this, you just spray it onto your pillow and it smells beautiful. It's very calming and relaxing and it's supposed to give you a better night's sleep. And I don't know if it does or not, but I know that I really love the smell of it and it definitely relaxes you. They also sent um deep sleep body cocoon a relaxing lotion that sounds interesting it restores and nourishes your skin whilst you sleep lovely oh this is so handy so we have some antibacterial moisturizing hand gel that is amazing cannot have enough of this at the moment this works is such a nice brand they also sent me some morning hyaluronic serum oh that's amazing with vitamin c i'm a big fan of both vitamin c and hyaluronic acid so this is perfect really good for the mornings uh, i've started using retinol as well um because i saw a video the other day and i was like if you're not using retinol in your 20s you're doing it wrong yeah i've started using retinol and apparently vitamin c is really good to use in the morning um after using retinol so that'd be great they also sent me a detox Clay mask. I love clay masks, so very happy about that. And a morning expert shell gel. Peppermint rosemary sulfate free body wash. That sounds gorgeous. Um, so that is absolutely lovely. I feel very, very spoiled. All really nice bits to use in lockdown as well. I'm honestly going through so many products at the moment just because I'm treating myself more because there's nothing else to do. And then a separate package, I got this, which is the Beauty Chef Inner Glow. And this is like a supplement powder, I think. Biofermented beauty food supplement, vitamins A, C, zinc, um, to maintain skin, hair, and nails. This looks really cool. Another thing I've been getting more into in 2021 is my vitamins. And I haven't been using them for long enough to tell you guys if they made any difference. So I will hold off from telling you what I've been taking until I think they made a difference, just in case they're shit. Um, but I really like the idea of this. It's quite cool that you can put it into a drink as well. I'm guessing you just mix it with water. You can put it into smoothies or you can put it into water, I think. That's really cool. No matter how long I do this job, I don't think the novelty of getting PR will ever wear off. Yeah, it just makes me feel so lucky and I'm so grateful for all of this. Okay, so it's almost four and I've just finished up shooting and taking photos for the day. I've got about three or four images, so that's nice. Know that they're in the bank, ready to go. Um, now I'm just going to go for a quick walk and then also go to Waitrose as well. Hopefully catch the last bit of sunshine, the sun is setting now.
guys i feel like in the first lockdown i was having like a glass of wine every other day this lockdown i really haven't been fancying alcohol at all so i'm sticking just to um ultra cordial and tonic i've just run myself a bath and so lovely and bubbly um i used my ted baker body wash as bubbles today and then i'm also going to use my lms peptide 4 mask got this little brush to apply it with So I'm now out in the bath and I'm just about to hop on a FaceTime to watch Netflix. There's this really cool Chrome plugin called Teleparty and you basically click it and then you send a link to somebody and it means you can watch Netflix at the same time. And there's like a chat function, it's really really fun. So I've been doing that every night just as something to do and a way of kind of socialising. It's been really fun. Um, I've been watching, where is it? Oh yeah, I've been watching this which is called Surviving Death. And it's kind of all about like the afterlife and paranormal stuff. It's so interesting. I'd really, really recommend it. I personally believe in the afterlife. So it's a great watch. Anyway, tonight I think we're going to watch uh, The Secret because here it is. I read the book so many times I've never seen the film. So I thought I might as well watch the film. My new pyjamas on from the Napco. They're just the cutest things ever. I love them. And then this blanket here, it's a new addition to my bed. It's not actually a throw. I know it looks like a throw, um, but it's actually a weighted blanket. It's not mine, it's B's. And obviously she's not here, so I'm borrowing it. And it's just the best thing ever. I'm gonna have to buy myself one. It's basically just a super heavy blanket. It's literally like picking up a chair. It's just really great if you need any help sleeping. Um, I personally like it for anxiety. Like if I ever feel anxious, I'll just go underneath this. Like tuck myself underneath it and it makes you feel so safe and so warm. It makes you feel like you're getting a giant hug. So yeah, I'll try and link it down below. I really, really recommend them though. They're brilliant. Um, actually does look quite nice as a throw as well, but I've also got myself some more tonic and some popcorn. So yeah, those are my Friday night plans and I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so happy to be back and I will see you next time. I love you all so, so, so much. Bye. Mwah.